Hello guys, once again, welcome to my channel. Today I filmed my first Halloween tutorial and of course it had to be Selena Quintanilla since it has been 20 years since she passed and I know in memory of her, Mac has just released her collection so I figured that many of us would want to dress up for Halloween like her and this is why I came up with this look. So if you guys want to know how to get this look, go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so to start off this look, I'm using my Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Primer Potion and I am focusing it where I have the most pores. Then I am taking my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and I am using this as a base. Next, I did my eyebrow and this was probably the hardest thing because I did try to mimic the shape of her brow but her brows were so much thinner than mine so it was pretty difficult but I did work with what I had so for this I used my Anastasia pomade in the color Ebony because she had such dark brows. So just try to do your brows as close as possible to hers. <laughs> For the eyes, I am using the Tartelette in the Bloom palette. And the first color I am taking is Charmer. And I am placing it all over the lid and up to my brow bone. Then I'm going in with the color Smarty Pants. And I am placing this in my crease and above my crease. Then I went in with the color Jet Setter and I did place this in my crease and above my crease but I tried to concentrate the color in the outer corner of my eye. Then I went in with a blending brush and I blended it all together. Lastly, I went in with the color Rebel and this was just to add more depth into my eye and I did place it only in the outer corner. And to clean up my lid, I did go in with the color Charmer and I placed it in my lid and I placed it in my brow bone. Then I went in back with the color Rebel and just popped it in the outer corner. So this is all for the eyeshadow. And now I'm just going to line my eyes with my NYC Liquid Eyeliner and I'm creating a very thin line. Nothing too exaggerated. I don't want to wing this out because this is not how she did her eyeliner. So now I'm just curling my lashes and putting on mascara. I did use some very natural looking lashes by Ardell. I don't know the name but I will list it down in the description bar below. So while I was doing my foundation, my camera did shut off on me so I wasn't able to record that part. But I did use my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the color 228. So I did want to brighten my under eye area and I used my Tarte Creaseless Concealer and I didn't bring it all the way down nor did I make a triangle shape. And then I just use my beauty sponge to blend it all in. So to set my face, I did use my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Powder. Then to finish off my eyes, I'm going in with the color Jet Setter. And I am not dragging it or smoking it out. I'm just adding a bit to create some definition. Then I'm going to be lining my eyes with the black eyeliner and adding mascara to my lower lash line. So I don't think Selena would contour her face but I am going to be contouring my nose because I want it to appear wider and rounder like hers. 
so always make sure to blend those lines and get rid of any harsh lines then I took the lighter shade in this contour palette and I did apply it to the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose then I also applied a, a bit of contour to my cheeks And for blush, I did use this BH Cosmetic Blush Palette and I went in with the darker color to try to contour with that and then in with the lighter shade, I used that as my blush. So we can be Selena without the red lips. So I did use this red lip liner by MAC and I also use Ruby Woo by MAC. So this is all we're going to do for makeup. Now let's move on to the hair. So you're going to need a hair tie, bobby pins, and lots and lots of hairspray. I don't know why, but I remember how they used to do their hair. So first, you are going to slick your hair back into a high, high ponytail. And then you need to take sections, I would say about half an inch. And you're going to roll them up into curls using your two fingers and then pin them up. And you're going to do a first layer and it's going to go all around your ponytail. Then with the remaining hair, you're going to do a second layer and put them on top of the curls that are already pinned. I also left a hair strand out and curled it because that's how she had it in the ATM Awards. So this is the final result. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this look for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time.